In this video, we're going to be comparing 1080p webcams. We have the Logitech C615, the Logitech 922 Stream Pro, the Razer Kio, and a Sony A6000. Now, technically, the A6000 is not a webcam, and it's more of a digital photography camera. But there are a lot of YouTubers and there are a lot of streamers that use it as a webcam. So I thought, why not? Let's go ahead and we can at least show you the difference in that too. So let's go ahead and let's get right into it. Okay, so these are just the default settings whenever you would first plug in the webcam. As you can see, I have each one labeled. It looks like the C615 is probably the worst, and then the Kio ends up looking a little bit better than the 922. But remember, these are strictly default settings. And most of the time, the webcam doesn't really look that great already with the default settings. So what we can actually do is we can sort of tweak it and make each one look a little bit better. So let's see how they look whenever they've been tweaked. Okay, so this is with everything tweaked. The C615 still just looks bad no matter what. Uh, but the Razer Kio and the 922 are pretty close to being neck and neck. I feel like the 922 still looks just a tad bit better with everything that I was able to tweak. This is the Logitech 922 Pro. If you open up the video and make it full screen, you'll notice in the lower light areas it's a little bit grainy and pixelated. That's just due to the fact that the camera has a hard time trying to display something when there isn't a lot of light there. All right, so we dropped down the resolution to 720p. That way I can show you how the webcam looks in 60 FPS. You're going to notice that the movements and everything like this, everything's just so much more smoother versus 30 FPS. Now, it cannot do 60 FPS, 1080p. It can only do this in 720p. And a lot of the time, this is okay for streamers just due to the fact that if you have a webcam down at the bottom of your screen anyway, and you're not going to be trying to take up the entire 1080p area of your stream, 720p is just fine, and you'll be able to benefit from 60 FPS as long as you're streaming 60 FPS. This is the Razer Kio. You'll notice just like the 922, it struggles to keep good quality in lower light areas. So like right there, but if you look in an area that's actually lit quite a bit better, it doesn't really look as bad. It's also capable of doing 720p 60fps, just like the 922. So this is 720p 60fps. Just like the 922, it's just much smoother when it comes to movement. Alright, so this is the C615. It definitely doesn't look as good as the previous two webcams. It looks okay. This would probably be something you'd want to purchase if you're on a budget. This is the Sony A6000. There's not much to say other than it's obviously better, and it's able to work a little bit better under low-light areas. It's not as pixelated, not as grainy in those areas where there's not that much light. So I give it 10 out of 10 compared to webcams. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully it's helpful for you. We'll have links down below in the description, that way you can compare everything that we spoke about. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below if you're having any issues with the webcam or if you just have any questions about the webcams that we spoke about today.